Okay, so let's take a look at how we can solve uh, question number five, which we're asked to find whether um, this person can get back home to uh, a certain city based upon um, a certain amount of travel distance and it charges a dollar for every kilometer. So we have this triangle set up for us here already where most of the information is filled in. And so let's just go through the question and verify some of the numbers here. So the first thing we're looking at is we're traveling a distance from um, San Juan, Puerto Rico to Bermuda, which is a distance of 961 kilometers. So I'm just going to circle that number and make sure that we have that in the diagram. Then he takes a second flight from Bermuda to Miami, which is 1,036. So that's this number here. And then the angle from Miami to the other two cities is given by a value of 55.4 degrees. So what we're asked to find is we're asked to find, can he, how long is the distance to go from Miami back to San Juan, Puerto Rico? So this is the unknown distance and I'm just going to call that X. Okay, so let X equal the distance between Miami and San Juan. Okay, so that's one thing we have to find. Now, in this question, how would we be able to do this? So, um, the, we are asked to use the application of the sine law in these sets of problems. So we need to identify an angle and a side pair to work from here. So right away we can see that 55.4 and 961 is one of the angles. Now we don't know the distance for X and that means there is a missing angle up here um, from the Bermuda point and there's also another missing angle here from the San Juan point. So for us to use the sine law in order to find X, we would actually need to know the side opposite this angle here. So we have a few things that we have to kind of calculate out. So I'm gonna make this um, one of these angles, this unknown here, Y, and then I'm gonna make this other one here, unknown Z. Okay, because those are the missing parts in the triangle that we have to find along with X. So how could we approach to do this? Well, we, since we know a, a base pair of angles and distance, we could start off by saying this. So we'll start this as calculation one. Sine of 55.4 degrees divided by 961 is equal to, now we need to pick another pair where we at least have one number. So which one is that going to be? Well, the Y, is opposite a value that we know, okay? But the Z and the X are unknown values at this point. So the only one we can really choose here is sine Y. So sine of Y is equal to 1036. So with this, we can just do some cross multiplication and work out our angle Y. So we're gonna do cross multiply and isolate sine y. So sine y is going to equal to 1036 times sine 55.4. Okay, that's the cross multiply part. And then we end up dividing by 961. All right, so we would, um, we would bring 961 over, then we end up dividing by it again. So this is going to give us sine y is equal to a decimal, which is 0 0.8874 approximately. But remember, we asked to find the value of y, angle y. So that means we need to take the inverse of that value. So you'll need to do that step on your calculator and you need to make sure you're in degree mode and you'll see that's 62 and a half degrees. So that means this here is 62.5. So then the second thing is, what could we do to calculate angle Z? Because angle Z is a missing angle and it's in a triangle. So we can just use our properties of triangles and do a subtraction for our known angles. And that should give us the missing angle um, on the other side. So this one comes out to be 62.1 degrees. So that means we now know this one here as 62.1. Okay, and then that gives us now <clears throat> an angle with the missing side that we're really asked to find. So <clears throat> we can set up the same kind of ratio again. Um, we can do uh, 
sine of 55.4 all over 961 is equal to the sine of 62.1 all over x. And then we'll just do our simple cross multiply to isolate our variable. So now this is on the bottom, so we'll just do this as well. one extra step here just to show how it works. But we're going to bring the x up, and then we're going to bring the 961 up. Okay, and then we end up dividing both sides by sine. And that will leave us with x. Now, x is a distance value, so we don't need to use any of the... Um, the we don't need to, need to use an inverse function. We just need to calculate um, using the calculator and work out our sine values. And then we will see that this is 1,031.8 approximately kilometers. So the question in the end is, says, does he have enough to fly home if he only has $1,000 and it's a dollar for every kilometer? So the answer is no. Um, he does not have enough money. Okay, at one dollar per kilometer. He would need a thousand and thirty-one dollars in order to make this trek back home, but he's short by the thirty-one point eight. All right, so that is how that question works. It's a, a triangle question where you need to really figure out all missing angles and all missing sides. Um, usually the sign law works really easy when you're having questions like this. Um, sometimes you could use the cosine law, but it doesn't quite fit the pattern because we, we, we're missing one of the legs on this side um, where, the, where we had to have the X. But um, the strategy in a question like this is when you draw your triangle, you need to find out all missing sides and all missing angles, and then you'll have all that information ready to fill in at that point. Okay, so hopefully that uh, made sense, and um, that will help you solve any other questions that are similar to this.